this video we're going to be talking about exporting our parts out to an external program so that we can do high-res sculpting or do map baking or other operations like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got inside of Maya here. We have a group that I called Crate Export Group and you can see that I combined everything together uh, for these parts of the crate and this part for the crate. So it's basically the crate and the top for this. And this is what I want to have these two different objects for that. If I go ahead and hide this, I'm gonna hit Control H real quick and just take this group for creation and show it, Shift H. You can see we've got all the different pieces that we have here, the top, bottom. So everything that we looked at from the earlier videos. To create this uh, create, create export group, it was pretty easy to just duplicate that. You can duplicate by hitting Control D or you can go to edit and say duplicate like that. So I've got another group here. I'm just going to hide this real quick. Just kind of show you the process for uh, taking this thing. So I did have the top like this. I know I wanted to get everything else. So I'm just holding down control as I select these groups that we've got here. And we can go to mesh and we can go to combine and delete the history. Alt shift D will delete history. And you can say yeah, edit uh, delete by type history. And that's where that exists there. So that becomes a new piece like this, and I can take this top group that we got, and we can go to Mesh, and then go to Combine again, and delete the history, Alt-Shift-D, or we can go to Edit, Delete by Type, History, and then that gives us our two different pieces, and I could export that out as an XPX. So I could group these things together. Um, I could hit Control-G and then group that, and that's basically, after renaming it, what I did to create this Create Export uh, group. I'll show this. I'll hit uh, Shift H and bring this back again. So we've got this thing, and I'm going to name it something that makes sense to me. So I got crate, group, top, group. Um, I could just change this and probably just call this crate top like this, and I'll call this crate uh, bottom like that. And that would probably make more sense for what I would want to export for this thing, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, save my file real quick. And then to export this thing out, what I could do, if I export it out as an OBJ, if I said File, Export, Selection, do the option box for this, and I did an OBJ, OBJ usually takes things and it would probably uh, combine everything together. Uh, these are the options that I use to export everything out. But this would make one solid object if you export it this way. Uh, if we select one at a time and say file export selection and do the option box for OBJ then we could export this out. We would have to give it a name so I'd want to give it the same name as what this is here, create bottom as I uh, export that out. And uh, same thing for the top and then that would give me two different pieces like this. So that's if you have an OBJ. Um, the other thing I probably want to show you guys, if this is not showing up as options, you can go to Windows, Setting Preferences, and go to the Plugins Manager, and you would have to, you could do a search, I'm glad they added this, and if we do OBJ, you could make sure that that's loaded for this, and if we're going to use an FBX, we could type an FBX on there and make sure that that's loaded as well for your plugins. Um, so the difference is if we select this whole group like this and we export this out as an FBX, so I'll say File, Export, Selection, do the option box and put it on FBX. This one you can edit the pre, uh, presets. I'll show you this is the options that I usually have uh, for exporting things out on here. Now you just need to worry about geometry if there's animations and stuff like that. You could have that on there. but. Um, I would just leave everything kind of where it's at uh, as far as that, but these are the options that I like to use for exporting things out. Um, and so as we export this out with the group information, if we pulled it into an external program like ZBrush, it will actually recognize that there's multiple pieces here and it'll keep them separated out. So that's why I kind of like using the FBX to export that out. So again, just file, export selection, option box, FBX, export selection. And then you would want to go ahead and give a location to where you're exporting this out at. Now, I like to keep everything kind of organized, and I made a, an FBX uh, folder for this thing, right? Um, I think I called it uh, Crate Export. And uh, after this, we will take a look at importing these into another program like ZBrush. Okay, So that's going to give you everything that you kind of need to know at a glance for exporting things out from 
Maya and then getting them ready to go and put them into an external program.